Names like Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, and Fukushima may sound familiar. All three areas dealt with firsthand nuclear emergencies. But what if something like that were to happen here? That's what emergency officials face during an exercise this week. And Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger has a look at how the agencies here fared. It's Tuesday morning just before 9 o'clock when something happens at the Charlotte Mecklenburg Emergency Management Office. They and several other counties go on alert and everyone from police and fire to even CMS come in. They need to know what to do, how to coordinate, how to act. It's something that is repeated every year and specifically because of two nuclear plants near here. They need to figure out what would happen if a nuclear emergency took place. It's a series of scenarios. So we start with the, you know, there's a, a, we're notified that there's an issue at the site and then it escalates from there. On this day, it's a simulated emergency at the McGuire Nuclear Station in Huntersville. The scenario this year, radiation has escaped the plant and the winds are carrying it towards Gaston County. But this room will be, will be full of uh, representatives from all the different agencies that we work with locally in Charlotte. One part team building exercise, one part what would you do? And in this circumstance, what would people living around Lake Norman and points south and west need to do? It's important to note here that Lake Norman actually exists to serve the power needs of the area. There's the steam station that's right behind me. There's also a hydroelectric station and the McGuire nuclear station that are all on the lake. And since McGuire does use nuclear power, they have to do these tests to determine if anything went wrong, how it would affect the entire area. All of this was looked at. On Thursday, the results came in. Charlotte Mecklenburg and the various other counties they worked with, they all met their goals, according to FEMA. One of the old saying is you don't uh, exchange business cards at ground zero. Knowing who your partner is and who you're going to work with beforehand and what their capabilities are is a, a level of uh, experience that you just can't gain without practice, and that's what these exercises do. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is quick to not call this a test, more of an assessment that was planned years in advance. And while they aren't quick to grade, they did say this. Reasonable assurance will continue. In other words, by most indications, it was good. The full report will come out in the next 90 days. The next assessment will be next year for the Catawba Nuclear Station just to the south of Charlotte. And a year after that, back to McGuire. In this exercise, Mecklenburg County wasn't as impacted. Now, the next exercise, we might be more impacted, or it might be Iredell, or it might be Cabarrus. They won't know the scenario until the tests actually take place, all to be ready in case something dangerous does indeed happen. Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.